So hi, I'm John Tesdell, and we are Board Explorer, and our, uh, our short is BEX. That's kind of our, our acronym. So let's jump right into the problem, and the problem is digital billboards. Everybody's seen them, but nobody can ever remember what the digital ad was. Uh, something happened to me, I was driving on the 215, and I saw a, an ad that I, I wanted to consume that ad, and I'm craning my neck over, I'm looking, and I almost had an accident. And the likelihood of me seeing that same ad on that same billboard is only 12.5%. Not, not a whole lot of a chance. So that's out of that experience, uh, Bex was born. So digital billboard advertising, it just doesn't follow the rule of seven, which states that a potential customer really should see an ad seven times before they even notice it. Any one of us, can we remember the last ad that we saw on a digital billboard? Probably not. Uh, consumers just don't stand a chance of consuming that information. So if we look at the industry standard for digital billboards, they say that no more than eight advertisements on a billboard at a time, and each advertisement is displayed for seven to eight seconds. Consumers really only spend about four tenths of a second looking at a billboard advertisement. And that creates in the center of this nice little Venn diagram here, what's called the magic spot. It's a very, very small opportunity window with that very small probability of repeat success, which we earlier stated was 12.5%. So does anybody remember what that number on the first slide for the free concert tickets were? Does anybody have that remember? I mean, does that catch anybody's attention? Probably not. Well, we're here to help you with that, with a free website, and a free mobile application, which bridges the digital divide between billboards and the online community. So I'm just gonna play a short little video here. Fingers crossed that it's gonna come through. So free concert tickets. This is our website. This is the uh, digital billboard that we thought that it was on. We're gonna scroll through the ads. Oh great, now I'm hungry. Uh, insurance, I already have insurance, Coca-Cola. We go down through, oh, there it is. Here's the ad for the free concert tickets. If you click on the image, it takes you directly to the advertiser's site. Coming back here, what if we don't remember where that, that billboard was? We just remember that it was free concert tickets. We type it in below, we hit search, and it brings up the billboard and only shows you the ad that you're looking for. So let's go ahead and look at digital billboards somewhere else. Let's look at Reno, Nevada. We type in Reno and hit search, and there they are. We can do specific keyword searches for anything. So the mobile app, let's launch the mobile app and take a look at it. You'll notice that it automatically centers on where we're at and shows us where the digital billboards are around us. Let's go back over there to about 215 in Buffalo. There's that uh, digital billboard that we drove past. We click on it, the ads show up at the bottom. We go through, oh, there's the one that we're looking for. We click on it and it shows up on our mobile device. You can also click on the ad here and it will go to the respective web page. So every billboard owner that's on our platform has their own management console. In that management console, they can add and remove billboards, they can add and remove images, they can add metadata, they can add URLs to the advertiser's website and they can reorder the images to their desire. So what's the market for this? Here you're gonna see in this very, very tiny, small little print you may have to put on your glasses. So this is a list of all US-based digital billboard owners and they're ranked from smallest, or from largest to smallest, left to right, top to bottom. You'll notice that Lamar and Outfront Media are the two biggest ones. Lamar owns 54% of all digital billboards in the United States. Outfront Media, they own 24%. So as you can tell, that's almost 75% just between these two companies. Yes, we're targeting them to be our customers, but we're also not overlooking all of these other companies that may have anywhere between one to 10 or maybe even more. These are all customers of ours that we're targeting. So the, the, billboard, the billboard industry is an $8.5 billion industry, but they have a really small growth rate of only 0.1%. Reason for this being is a lot of these billboard advertisers, they're they're actually moving to digital billboards. They're moving away from static, but they're not putting up new billboards per se. Jumping right into our uh, SOM, SAM, and TAM. Let's look at the SOM. 
we're targeting the Las Vegas market, which has 170 digital billboards. We want to we want to penetrate this market at about 20 percent, which would give us 34 digital billboards from the Las Vegas market on our platform. So the competition we've been asked on multiple occasions. Well, what about online advertisers. What about Google or Twitter. Why couldn't they just leverage their platform and take over and frankly, they don't have to they're already taking 0.7% of billboard advertisers market share every year. So they're, they're doing great and they don't have to do anything to improve physical billboard advertising. So we don't really think that that matters that much. We have a first mover advantage. There's nobody out there that's doing this digital divide bridging. And we also have a barrier to entry. We currently have a patent pending for our method and system for on-demand delivery of billboard advertising to web and mobile application. Say that three times fast. So what's our business model? We're targeting businesses, billboard owners, that know that they have to go through digital transformation. Frankly, they're to the point where they know they have to adapt or they have to die, one of the two. It's not so much going from static to digital billboards, but going from digital billboards to the online community. We want those customers. So in our digital billboard cost analysis, how much does it cost to advertise with Lamar in Las Vegas? It can cost anywhere between $2,000 up to $9,500 per month, depending on the location and also the daily impressions. Our business model is a subscription based model. We want to sell to these owners a cost per digital billboard with unlimited images for $1,000 a month. For those that don't want to do unlimited images and they want to do eight or less, we'll charge them $125 an image per month. And for the ones that just want to move a static billboard into the digital realm and just a one billboard with one image, we'll do $250 a month. With a 20% acquisition of the Las Vegas digital billboard market, we stand to gain $408,000 annually. Now, looking at the potential market, not saying that we're going to get 100% of the market, but the potential of getting a complete digital and static Las Vegas market engagement, we can net over $6 million. In the United States total for digital and static, we could net 508 million. So what's the benefit to digital billboard owners? Well, frankly, they could take the cost that we charge them of $125 an image, they can pass it on to their customer and then they can add a little bit more for themselves. Somebody who's spending $9,500 a month for a single image or a set of images on different billboards, another $250 fee is nothing. So as a billboard owner, they stand to make $1,000 more profit off of each billboard. So who are we? Ariane Testel, our CEO, holds an MBA and a Master's of Accountancy a degree, and uh, she's a licensed CPA here in the state of Nevada, has a very, very long history of entrepreneurship. Myself, John Tesla, I'm the uh, Chief Technology Officer. I also have an MBA and a PMP, and I also have a long history in entrepreneurship. Together, we make a pretty good team to drive this business forward. So what, what's our ask? We need funding. But more importantly, we need mentorship assistance to gain these introductions into the billboard advertising industry and get in contact with these decision makers. We estimate that operations, marketing, and the development cost in order to deliver the next iteration of our software and also the service to increase stakeholder value is going to cost about $300,000. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you. I'm going to open it up to questions.